Hey, a quick tip on how to make notes in your Bible. And uh, this is just what I use. This is a great colored pencil. It's made by Pentel. It has eight different colored pencil colors in there. You can see this one's red. And um, what I do is I use this to highlight in my Bible. It doesn't bleed through the pages and it helps me to see things really quickly. For me, I use the color red to note um, when in the Old Testament, the Yahweh, the Tetragrammaton, L-O-R-D, all caps, Lord is being used. And so whenever the Lord is referred to, I love to highlight that in red. For me, that points to Jesus and it's a reminder of that connection of Jesus in the uh, Old Covenant or the Foundational Covenant. Um, I use brown as a great way to highlight people, people. So I um, come across someone's name and I'll highlight Abraham, for example, in brown, or since we're in numbers, uh, I've been highlighting all of the names of the people mentioned in numbers in brown. And again, it helps me to see things through really quickly and clearly in the Bible. I can go through and say, where, where was that passage that was talking about um, Aaron and Miriam and Moses? And I'm thinking of it all brown, brown, brown. It helps me to see it. Uh, orange comes in handy. I just use this in general to highlight a little hair there. <laughs> I use orange to highlight in my Bible to help me to see um, chunks of key passages that I found interesting, maybe a verse I'm memorizing. And then within that passage, if the Lord's name appears or a person's name appears, I highlight those in um, red or brown. Um, I use blue and this pen comes with a dark blue like you see here or a light blue you can click through to. I use blue to highlight passages that talk that either God is speaking and the Lord said, and then highlight all the things that he said. Um, and I, anything that refers to God or the Holy Spirit, I use blue in particular with that. So I think of heaven when I think of blue, I think of God, and it helps me to see. It was incredible for me as I was studying through Leviticus to see 90% of the book of Leviticus is all blue. It really made me realize, whoa, it's all blue. It's all God talking mostly. All right. Um, pink. Pink's an interesting color, so it doesn't come up as often, and so I kind of alternate on this one. Pink I will use to highlight um, prophetic scripture. I'll sometimes use pink. And then also, pink I will use to highlight, make, so make sure they pop off the page to me, things that occur first in the Bible. Words, names, locations, and things like that. And so I use pink to help me highlight with all of that. And then we get to green, and I use the green in here to highlight locations like Israel, uh, any landforms, any, any locations that are mentioned in the Bible, I use the green, here it is, <laughs> to highlight that. Again, that really helps me to see, and then I realize, oh, they were here before. <laughs> There's my dog. They were here before. She's saying, yeah, I love that way of studying. <laughs> so it helps me to really see that. So you use colors like this. You don't have to buy one of each. I like it because I do so much at a time. You can just buy one and clip through each of those. Thank you, Dela, for that. Oh, and yellow. I use, I've use. i been using these Crayola erasable colored pencils. There's a yellow in here also, but like I said, I, I've been using all of these separately because I've been doing so much. I use yellow also to highlight conversations, people sharing something, a standout verse. If I've been doing a lot of orange, I might alternate it with yellow. I hope those tips are helpful. It's just a simple way that I use to make the, the page stand out. Here's a visual of what I was saying a minute ago. <laughs> you can still hear my dog barking. Here is... Um, and what is this one? Numbers. Here's numbers where I've been studying. And you can see the really easy and quick for me to find the Lord. You can see all these chunks here that God is speaking. Um, you can see the highlights here where Moses is speaking. And uh, then over here in Leviticus, I was studying this earlier and I noticed some incredible firsts that came up. Let me see if I can find that passage for you. Well, I'll skip that for now and I will. Well, here, here it is. Here are some other ways I've used colors in the highlight. When we we're talking about packing up the tabernacle, we use these colors to indicate the color scheme of packing up the tabernacle. So it's quick and easy for me to, to find those, except for the very one I'm looking for right now, which is that passage in, in Leviticus that had a ton of first things that happened in it and um, how they occurred. And it was easy for me to see because I noticed them all in pink. You can see this word right here used for idols is the first time that word occurs in the Bible. Anyway, lots of stuff, lots of ways to use. <laughs> well, 
lots of ways to use highlighters to study your Bible. I hope that's helpful for you today. Have fun. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Bye-bye.